Aloha and good morning everyone. Welcome back to Kaimana Conservation, the channel where we talk about the ocean and all things ocean related. I'm so excited that you guys are joining me for this episode and that is because it is a very important topic in the field of ocean sciences. Today we are going to be talking about marine biology. Most specifically, what is marine biology? I know you guys probably already know this because you clicked on the link and that was probably the title. Um, but interestingly enough, a lot of people know that they like the ocean and they're interested in working with the ocean, but they aren't 100% sure what marine biology actually is and what it actually studies compared to other ocean fields. So as you guys are probably aware because you've clicked the link, marine biology is a little bit of a buzzword, uh, which means that a lot of people are gonna be more likely to inquire about topics like marine biology because that is the field or the name of the field that they're most familiar with. That being said, there are tons of different fields in the, uh, in the kind of general scheme of ocean sciences and you can study just about everything. Um, so we are going to be breaking that down today. So today we're gonna be diving into what is marine biology what is involved in the field of marine biology and also what is not involved specifically in the field of marine biology and discuss the other fields that do encompass those topics as well as other fields that you can participate in that aren't marine biology per se but to still involve you working with the ocean. First of all, if you just clicked on this video and you're wondering why on earth you should believe me, a little bit about myself. My name is Jessica and I am a professional marine biologist living and working in Maui, Hawaii. Uh, I've lived all over the world working marine biologist or related fields jobs. Uh, I have been a professional scuba diving instructor. I've worked as a coral reef surveyor. I've worked uh, in other parts of the world as well as here as a whale watching tour host and an educator in an aquarium. So I've kind of had a smattering of experience across lots of different fields, including marine biology. I have two degrees. I have a bachelor's and a master's in marine sciences and management. So I've got the education to back me up too. And if you need more than that, unfortunately I can't give you any more. But hopefully that will be enough to uh, convince you guys that I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. If you are interested in learning about how I got to where I am today, that's in a different video that came out a little bit ago. I'll see if I can't link that somewhere, either in a box or in the description. Uh, we'll, we'll see if I'm tech savvy enough to figure that one out. Uh, but if not, feel free to scroll back through. There aren't too many to go through. I do give a little bit of information about how I got to where I am today. Because I wanna make sure that the information I give you guys is as accurate as possible, I do have notes down here on my lap. So if you see me looking down throughout the video, it's simply because I'm using the notes that I've made ahead of time. And that's just because I wanna make sure that everything that I quote to you, especially definitions or descriptions of fields, I wanna make sure is as accurate as possible. So the first question of the day is what is marine biology, also known as biological oceanography. The definition that you can find in most oceanographic textbooks is the scientific study of marine life or organisms that live in the ocean and other saltwater environments, including estuaries and wetlands. So basically, what does that mean? So like most scientific disciplines that are specialized, there's lots of different topics underneath the overarching field. So as a biology, marine biology covers the living components of an ecosystem. This includes topics like anatomy, physiology, morphology, taxonomy, behaviors, uh, origin, distribution. It covers all kinds of things, but it's specifically looking at the living components of an ecosystem, so the living organisms. So essentially what this means is that there's endless opportunities for research under the umbrella of marine biology. That being said, we are not going to delve into every single opportunity that you could go into in marine biology, otherwise we'd be talking forever. But what I can do is kind of break down some individual topics uh, that I'm familiar with or that I have friends that do or that I have participated in in the past, just to give you guys a taste of what uh, you could do in the field of marine biology. So some sub-disciplines of marine biology can include marine molecular biology, which is the study of microscopic organisms in the ocean. There's marine mammalogy, which is the study of mammals in the ocean like whales, dolphins, and seals. Uh, there is the study of ichthyology. Ichthyology is the study of fish in the ocean. And under each one of these sub-disciplines are specialties of research. So for example, under marine mammalogy, there could be a study on bioacoustics, which is the study of recording the animal's sounds underneath the water and then analyzing and interpreting what they mean. Another 
another example, if you're an ichthyologist, the study of fish, and you are studying ethology, that means you are studying fish behavior. And the list goes on and on. So there's endless amounts of opportunities for you within the field of marine biology. And that leads us to our second question, and that is, is marine biology the only scientific field pertaining to the ocean? And the answer is absolutely not. Now, marine biology does get the most hype of all of these fields, but there are dozens of other scientific fields and industries that pertain to the ocean. I'm actually going to go over some of the definitions of these other fields and see if any of them sound interesting to you. So the first one is marine sciences, uh, which is a little bit more of a broader ocean science term. And and that is similar to the definition of environmental sciences, which is actually what I studied as a bachelor's, so it sounds very familiar to me. The marine sciences is the interdisciplinary study of the marine environment, including the physical, chemical, biological, and informational sciences, so you can see it's a little bit larger, and humans' interaction with it, including addressing challenges and solutions to environmental problems. So marine biology is specifically about the animal and other fields will be a little bit more specific on the physical aspect of the ocean, but this is more specific on all the aspects of the ocean and how humans interact with it, which includes uh, addressing challenges, threats, problems. Uh, this is where conservation comes in. So this one actually tends to be more popular, even though people aren't aware that it is a separate field for marine biology. Another example of an ocean studies field that focuses on the physical aspects of the ocean is oceanography. So oceanography can be defined as the study of physical phenomena of the ocean, such as ocean physics, chemistry, currents, waves, temperatures, acidity, pH, geology, geography, toxins, and more. This field also delves into the impacts of the physical environment on the biological and vice versa. And that brings us into another field of marine sciences called marine ecology. This field specifically focuses on their behaviors and interactions with each other and their environment. So that is the interactions between the living and the non-living components of an ecosystem and then how they operate together and affect one another. And lastly, for this list, not last as far as all the fields go, there's so many more. But lastly for this list is marine engineering. So marine engineering includes a combination of mechanical, electrical, civil, acoustic, and chemical engineering. Generally speaking, marine engineers design, build, test, and refine different uh, equipment and instrumentation used in the ocean. And that brings us to our final question, probably one of the most important for some of you, and that is, can I still work with the ocean without becoming a professional scientist? And the answer is yes. Uh, there is definitely plenty of ways that you can work with the ocean. You don't have to become a scientist in order to do so. There are lots of different avenues that you guys can take. Now, I do have another list here, so I'll go through some of that with you guys now. Do keep in mind, and I will try and note as we go along, that some of these fields, even though you won't become a professional scientist, may require schooling or certifications uh, that are a prelude in order for you to work in that role. Alright, so the first one that is on my list is one that I have actually participated in and that is scuba diving. So there is a big difference between recreational and professional scuba diving. If you are a recreational diver, it means that you pay to go diving. It's a, uh, heavily tourism based, but you can do it in other ways. You can work in the field, uh, collecting data, which I have also done, or you could work with the tourism industry and you could take people out on dives. Uh, also equally fun, I have done that as well. Uh, the interesting thing about scuba diving is that um, it's a career path that not everybody takes for granted as far as like working with the ocean, but it is a fabulous way to get into the ocean on a regular basis. There's a misconception that marine biologists spend a ton of time in the field or in the ocean. Um, however, what the reality is, is that marine biologists don't actually spend a ton of time in the ocean um, unless they're on field work. And that's usually a very abbreviated amount of time and it's very intensive. Alternatively, if you're a scuba diver, usually you are in the water all the time. If you really enjoy the idea of being in the water 
and not necessarily having a desk job afterwards where you have to like type up all of your information and your analysis and uh, you know, working on grants, uh, then scuba diving may actually be a really great opportunity for you. Another avenue that you could take is going into the maritime industry. That essentially means becoming a captain or the crew member of a boat. There's lots of different ways that you can wiggle your way in. There is transportation, which is essentially working like public ferry systems or tugboats that work with cruise ships or on cruise ships. There is research vessels, so you can actually work hand in hand with the scientists that are going out onto the ocean and doing their research. So you could go into tourism, which is what's really popular here in Hawaii. There's tons of different ways that you could get into the ocean or onto the ocean through the maritime industry. Another direction that you could go is uh, heading into teaching. So teaching, you could go into academia, which is essentially becoming a teacher. You could also go into public outreach and education, which a lot of businesses and organizations are branching into nowadays in order to teach the public about their, uh, their endeavors. Uh, but there's a lot of really great ways for you to break into ocean-related fields through education. Not to mention it's a really great field because you are teaching others about what you love, which is, in my opinion, one of the best parts about this field to begin with, their, uh, their endeavors. Uh, but there's a lot of really great ways for you to break into ocean-related fields through education. Not to mention it's a really great field because you are teaching others about what you love, which is, in my opinion, one of the best parts about this field to begin with. There are so many other ways that you can incorporate the ocean into your job. You could be an underwater photographer or videographer. You could be a science communicator or a specialized science uh, journalist that focuses on the ocean. You could be an organizational manager or a project manager. A lot of nonprofits uh, that pertain to the ocean actually need people in the office uh, to actually organize that kind of stuff. So there's, there's endless opportunities for you to work uh, and, and to incorporate the ocean into your daily life. Last but not least, if you are in love with the ocean but you aren't 100% sure what field you want to pursue, or if you have a job and it doesn't pertain to the ocean and you want to get your ocean thrill time, there's a really good answer for that too. A really great way of uh, experiencing the ocean is to do a volunteer program or an internship program. Even if you are intending to pursue a degree in some sort of ocean sciences, a lot of professionals will tell you that if you don't have extra experience through volunteering and internshipping, uh, that you don't have enough experience on you. So I would recommend, even if you already know that you're going to be pursuing uh, marine sciences, uh, I would definitely start looking at volunteer and internship opportunities. I personally can say that as a professional marine biologist, I will still take the time to go out and find volunteer opportunities. Uh, and that is because it is such a good memory builder and experience builder. There's always something new and interesting that you could learn, as well as typically uh, volunteer experiences are usually nonprofits. They're doing really good philanthropic work. It makes you feel good inside, also knowing that you are doing something important for the ocean. So I would say no matter where you are in this decision-making process, whether you want to work in the ocean or not, uh, no matter if you want to pursue science or not, or if you're just looking for something fun to do ocean related in your free time when you're not at work, volunteering and internshipping is a really great opportunity for you to experience the ocean, make really great memories, and to know that you're giving back to the ocean in the process. All right, guys, well, that about wraps it up for this week. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you learned a lot about the field of marine biology as well as other scientific fields that not everybody knows about. Uh, if all went well, hopefully you have learned about a new field that you didn't know about before, or you are thinking about other fields uh, that pertain to the ocean that you wouldn't have considered otherwise. Chances are I have forgotten something uh, in this video. If you guys can think of anything that I may have missed, make sure you put that in the little comment box below. I'd be happy to get back to you guys. If there's enough, I may even make another video. Uh, but at the very least, make sure you put it down there. That way other inquisitive uh, ocean lovers and potential scientists to be uh, have the ability to look at your suggestions as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I hope to see you guys around next week. Mahalo! Thank you.